we don't have enough aides, we don't have enough paraprofessional support, we don't have everything that we need to be able to fairly compete. So, here we are. And we're fighting for you and supporting you every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. We're striking for our voices to be heard and to show people we really are about our children. That's what we're out here for. We know what their needs are. And in some communities that need those resources like counselors and social workers and materials and updated technology and you know all those things that we know our children need the only way that anybody's going to understand what they need is if we stand out here and walk the line because we do care about our children that's why we're out here I mean, I see a lot of frustration around the nation, but the level of frustration here for not being able to do our jobs is intense, and that's why I wanted to be here. Thank you. Nobody wants to walk a line. We want to be in school. We want to be teaching, but with the real conditions and the real support and the real respect. Definitely inspiring to teachers all across Illinois, and as Randy said, all across the United States. Yeah. So we're with you all the way until you get a fair contract, all right. and you will. Right. Thank you. You can only take mistreatment for so long before you stand up. Our job isn't just about teaching, that's the main part, but we are so much more to a lot of these kids. And for a lot of them, we are, we are, we are their main support. And we need people to understand that. None of us want to be out here. Uh, we don't, we want to be in our classrooms. I don't want to be here, I'd rather be teaching right now. But you have to do what you have to do to protect the future. And that's the future of teachers, the future of our kids. I mean, what's best for them is that we have the best working environment to provide them the best education possible. And if we can't do that, how are we supposed to meet the standards that they're setting for us if we don't have those types of environments? You come into a profession like teaching because you want to change the world. And that's, and that's why. And people need to see that. We're out here to fight for the things that have just been ignored and forgotten about and in one ear and out the other, oh you have 40 kids, ooh that's too bad. No it's not too bad anymore, enough is enough. It's just having proper working conditions and resources available to us so that we can be effective teachers to the students who deserve it. Right. It's not fair that when they come to school they don't have papers and pencils or the books that they need. There are struggles out there and I'm expected to teach without any resources to help these kids get through their struggles. And these are smart kids and these are caring and working families and they are doing their job to get their kids in the best spot but when their kids get to us we don't have the resources or the tools necessary to A, help them become okay to learn, and then B, actually teach them. Every kid in Chicago deserves a fair chance at life and a, and a proper education, and no matter what. We're not gonna take it.